What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Angela Altieri. If this is your first time here and welcome to the video. Last time I did my eye products collection on my shadows, my palettes, liners, mascaras, everything. So now we are in the home stretch. The last of my makeup collection is my lip products. I have a ton of lipstick, lip gloss, and not a lot of lip liners, but I do have a lot of lip products. So without further ado, let's get it. Okay, this is where I keep, I think the, the majority of my lipsticks, this is definitely, no, not definitely. Um, but everything's, my room catches so much dust, it's insane, I don't get it, but this is how I keep my lipsticks. If you've seen it in another video, I keep it in my drawers, really container thing um so yeah here are all of my lip glosses and i have two fenties over there which i'll include later um these are all my nudes or whatever's in here these are my nudes and then these are my more colorful lipsticks so a little bit more peachy coral or like reds and stuff so i don't know where to start um, let's start with these. Okay, so let's get started with the, um, more affordable lips. My hands are stained. This is the Zoya lipstick in the shade Candy. I've had this for I don't know how long. I keep it because it's a pretty pop of color, creamy. If I were to wear a color like this, I want it to be... Um, a creamy formula because if it's too matte and drying it looks strange and not flattering whatsoever so there's that color then I recently purchased a wet n wild lipstick in Mochalicious because we're all pretty Christy every day every day she wears this lipstick and I was like you know what let me just check it out it's it's not as creamy as I expected it to be but it's a pretty mauvey color um, I haven't worn it yet because I haven't put on makeup that much. Um, this is the Jordana Modern Matte Lipstick in the shade 03 Matte Frappuccino. Okay, okay. The Matte Frappuccino. I wore this a ton last summer or two summers ago. For me, it's just like the perfect brown shade, like on my skin tone, especially when I'm more tan. It's not extremely matte. There's still a little bit of creaminess to the formula, so it glides on nicely. Then I have this what? Not what? What? Uh, ColourPop X Kathleen Lights Twinkling Lights Collection lipstick in the shade. This is this is a ultra satin lip, and this is the shade Lucky Star. This lipstick is so pretty. I only have what? three reds and I chose to keep this one because it's so bright it's slightly like a strawberry red and there's a slight pinky or like bluey tone to it I think it's stunning the formula is great I'm not the biggest fan of their matte lipsticks but this is not as drying as that so I really like this formula and I also have a ultra matte lip in Little Star. I have not worn this like out. I swatched it or done a look with it. But it's a really pretty deep brown mauvey color. Um, it is a little bit drying so I put on a lip balm or chapstick right underneath before I apply the lipstick and I mean it's a beautiful shade so keeping it. Then I have two Sephora Rouge no cream lip stains i have the shade 79 pretty coral shade um i remember Alyssa ashley doing a whole swatching video on these lipsticks and i just thought the shade was so pretty i think i wore it a few times last summer i have to wear a lip liner with this because this is very warm for my neutral olive undertone so i have to be careful with how i wear it 
This is the shade 18, another red. I have the shade one from my Sweet 16 and I'm 21, so I have to throw that out. Um, but again, another beautiful shade. This is more on the orangey side, very bright, very beautiful. Um, these, for me, these are not drying. I love the formula, that's why I have, I think I have a third one. Um, I love these formulas, they were great for me and I highly recommend them. Then I have a Dose of Colors, I think this is a matte lip in the shade Extra Saucy. Where did I get this from? I don't remember where, where I bought this or why. I think there was a sale on Dose of Colors online, so I bought it. I thought this shade was very unique. Definitely not something I have in my collection. It's a very berry tone red. Like, yeah, it's like a raspberry tone. Uh, I like the formula. I haven't really worn this lipstick a lot because it's very bold for me, but I like to keep it in my collection. This is the Ofra Long Lasting Look with Lipstick in the shade Miami Fever in collaboration with Kathleen Lights. When I bought it, I did not know it was a collaboration. I just thought it's a beautiful shade and it surely is. This could go in my nudes, but there's kind of no space in there. Um, this is a beautiful color. I always compare it to this Smashbox. This is a mini. Always on liquid lipstick in the shade Out Loud. These are so similar, but definitely not to keep both of them. Smashbox is a little bit deeper in tone. Um, this is a little bit lighter, a little bit peachier, and this is more of a brick tone. But I love these lipsticks. The formulas are amazing. Highly recommend. Um, this one I think I got as like an extra in my Ipsy bag, so yeah. Um, I also compare it to this Kylie Velvet Lipstick in Heat. These three are so similar. Um, they're like different variations of the same color. This is definitely deeper than this, but still orangey, kind of corally. Um, I love this, and I love Kylie's Velvet Lips, mattes, not so much, kind of drying. But the velvets last beautifully. They wear beautifully. Highly recommend. And then I have her velvet lipstick in red velvet. This is from a Christmas collection. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous red. This is a little bit more blue. Oh my god. They smell so good. It's a little bit more um, like a true red, a blue tone red than the Kathleen one. Like I said, it dry, it's drying down and looks a little bit more strawberry. Um, yeah, these three reds, I have a blue, a strawberry, and an orange. I love them. Highly recommend. This is like another red, more like a strawberry tone. This is the Bite Beauty and Amuse Douche. I don't know. I'll link it down below. In the shade Candied. I got this from TJ Maxx for like, I want to say $5 and I wore it once. Oh, this is pink. It looked red in the bottle, but it's pink. Can you close? Um, again, I wore this once. It's a little bit sticky. I don't know if I'll keep this. The color is unique, not something I have, but again, if I have a color like this, I do want it to be in a creamier formula. I do have to try this out a little bit more, but the color is very nice. Um, then I have this Fenty Mademoiselle lipstick in the shade Shoddy. Very deep. Where's my brown lipstick? I can't get it. Um, very deep tone brown. This is what I'm wearing in my intro, outro. Very deep brown. Very unique. Um, I like it. Her lipsticks at first are very dry, but I felt like the more I wore them or swatched them, the creamier they got and the more flattering they looked on the, on the lips. Finally, I have this Jeffree Star um, Velour Lip Lipstick in the shade, what is the shade? Karma. Very unique. Will I ever wear this? Um, 
probs not but I thought it'd be really cool to just have in my collection uh, I got it in a mystery box so, so yeah maybe even as like a liner or a shadow will I use it for that I don't know maybe not but I have it so whatever okay these are all my nudes starting off with drugstore this is the Almay oh my Almay lipstick in the shade never regret right um, I bought this on sale at Ulta. This shade is so pretty. You won't really see it on my skin. This is a My Lips for Better shade. Very creamy. Um, and I love it. It just lasts all day. It's like the perfect shade for a natural everyday look. This is the L'Oreal Color Rouge Balm in the shade Caramel Comfort. They don't make these anymore, but they're, they have another formula I really like that I have. I'll show you later. Um, Again, I use these for more natural looks, on the go, when and done. Not a lot of pigment, but it gives you a little sheen and a glossy effect to the lips. I love it. I have this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Nudist. I also have the shade Cowboy. It has disappeared. I will be buying it again. I think my mom took it, um, but I haven't seen it in a while. This is a extremely new shit I love the smell of these very nude but with a lip liner it looks great on me works well for me I like it lasts very long and it can be very drying so I recommend um, the lip balm underneath this is L'Oreal I think these are like the rouge why is it sticky these are like the rouge lipsticks this is the shade I experience um, I really like this formula. Another guys, these are all nude. Um, it's like a blotted lip effect, very like sweet feeling. Um, it's hard to explain. They wear off nicely. They they're not super long lasting, but they give a nice like blurred effect to the lips. I really like this formula. Then I have a Maybelline. No, this is a Rimmel London Kate collection number. 47. I used to wear this a lot last summer as well. Um, very pretty shade. Very creamy. Uh, again, creamier formulas won't last very long, but very pretty shade. Um, this is the next whipped lipstick in the shade Cocoa Bean. This, again, is another My Lips Feel Better kind of thing. These do not last long at all. But I I keep it for the smell. How freaking weird is that? It smells so good. Like a vanilla bean. Oh my god, it smells so good. That's why I keep it. Um I know if I wear this it'll come off in like two seconds, but the smell is so good. Going into ColourPop, this is the ultra blotted lip in Halo Effect. Halo effect? <laughs> it's Halo Effect. Um, I watch too much Simply Neological. I watch too much Simply Neological. Um, this is, like when they said blotted, they meant blotted. It's a very blurring um, formula for the lips. It gives you color, but it's not sheeny. It is very matte, but not any drying way. It just doesn't give any, any type of sheen to lips at all. This is very pinky corally. I do want another shade that's more warm brown but I really like it for what it is. This is the ColourPop um, lippy, where is this hair? lippy stick in the shade Taurus because I'm a Taurus y'all and how can I not have something with my name? This should go in the browns. Yeah I'm gonna move this but another brown. Very pretty. I like the shade. Um, then I have a Sephora. I don't know what these are called. Um, dang, I'll link it down below. I think it's like a rouge lipstick in the shade Be Fearless. Uh, this is so pretty, so nourishing. Um, makes your lips look juicy, plump. It's not, it doesn't have a plumping effect, but it's very pretty, very nude. So I do use a lip liner with it, but I really like that formula. I highly recommend it, and it's inexpensive. 
um this is the laura lee los angeles liquid lipstick in the shade jailbird i bought this on sale because why not i think it was like six bucks when i bought it um very cool tone hmm what does that smell it's hard to describe the smell but it does smell good kind of fruity but then like sweet at the same time um very pretty shade it does get it's not drying but it does dry down very matte um so it's something that i would want to make a little bit creamier with another lipstick on top or a lip gloss on top and it's very cool tone mauvey which you won't see anywhere else in my collection really um but i have it so i keep it This is the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in question mark. This is a limited edition shade. I bought this in a mystery box. If you're interested in this shade, I am selling it in a bundle on my Macari page. So go check it out if you're interested in getting this lipstick. Um, I am a reseller at heart, so don't be mad at the price. Don't need the playa, get the game. You know what I'm saying? Um, this should go on the other section too. Very pink um yeah this isn't something i would typically wear and i do need a lip liner with it i wouldn't say it's wearable this is not an everyday shade for every skin tone but it is pretty a nice more not kind of candy but like bubble gummy pink um so yeah i keep it because it's limited edition and i'm a savage so so i'll move my i'll move my old friend to my moves then the KKW lipstick in 2.5 nude. Um, I bought this on sale. There was a Memorial Day sale, so I copped out along with a lip liner. Um, very creamy formula. I love the formula. Uh, the shade is really nice as long as I have a lip liner with it. And yeah, nothing more to see about paint. Then I have the KKW X Kylie Cosmetics Cream Lip Liquid Lipstick in the shade. Kimmy. I sold all of the other three. This formula is not long lasting at all, but very creamy, very pretty. Why do I hold on to it? Because I don't know. This is what was this was my first Kylie Cosmetics um, product, the KPW product. I guess I keep it for that. The color is very pretty in the shade. The other colors are pretty as well. They're just very nude and they don't last very long, so I wouldn't recommend it. I don't even know if they sell anymore, but whatever. This is the Fenty Mademoiselle lipstick in the shade Single. My best friend got me this. Thank you, Maya. Um, this is a very pretty shade. I haven't worn this in a while because they were drying at first, but now they're a little bit creamier for me. Um, more of like a peachy pink very pretty i do need a lip liner with it otherwise it'll look crazy this is the bare minerals lipstick in the shade oh. this is a matte lipstick in the shade weekend i wore this for my high school graduation i bought it once i have my makeup done at sephora very pinky very pretty it smells good it's not like a sweet desserty smell but it smells good to me i don't know um I'll probably always keep this. I should have kept my, my Sweet 16 lipstick just as like a memento because it's also my Sweet 16. Um, yeah, this is from graduation. I don't think I'll let this go. Very momentous thing. Very momentous. I'm a space, bruh. Now, last but not least, this is the Smashbox Always on Liquid Lipstick in the shade Babeler. Yeah, Babeler. I got this again in an Ipsy add-on i think i don't really remember um it's pinky but a little bit muted um a very pretty shade i think this is more wearable than like this shade is um muted a little bit cooler in tone but very pretty especially with the liner very cute it's very cute now we have my lip gloss um okay Again, now we're going to go in with e.l.f. This is their lip lacquer in clear. Um, 
I don't know where I got, I think I got this like in a free, like a free bag from e.l.f. This smells so good, jeez. It smells so good, it's clear, it's juicy, nothing like special. Um, this is like the same thing, this is the Estee Lauder. I don't know. My mom just handed these to me, or not even handed, she just left them on my desk. Um, this is ex like extremely clear and glossy, like very glossy. My lips look wet when I have this on, or at once, but you know, still. Then she gave it to me in this bronzy color. I've never worn this on my lips. And the wand, the wand looks crazy but that looks pretty i'll try it see if i like it these smell good too damn these smell like um a gumball i think this one smells like a gumball uh then i have this milani keep it full nourishing lip plumper in the shade champagne they also have this in the infamous luminoso shade but i wanted something a little bit nude um, and I was on the hunt for a lip, 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 <laughs> I was on the hunt for a lip plumping, um, products, and it was on sale for, um, National Lipstick Day. It's a little bit cooler, I wish I got something a little bit warmer in tone, but it does plump, and it's a nice formula, it's not too sticky. Um, I don't like sticky lip glosses. This is the ColourPop X Cafe Nights Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade It's all. I don't know, man. I'll link it down below. Um, oh my goodness. I'm not a fan of like the wand applicator, but this one has not gone crazy on me at least. This is very opaque. It does have like, it's kind of dual chromey with um, gold um, shimmers in it very pretty with the lip liner um and this on top is so pretty and this formula is amazing i also have it in the shade nightlight this ooh, this is so unique i haven't seen anything else like it it's a very opaque um bronzy color with pink and yellow gold or green glitters in it so pretty guys um it's something really special i don't think very fair tones would like it but if you're medium and deeper complexion i think you love this gloss it is very opaque um but you can share it out as long as you use uh, a little bit less this right here i love this is another cream lip shine from sephora in the number zero one right zero one this is what i have on my lips now in the intro the outro it's so juicy like it doesn't look juicy here but with a nice lip liner and this on top oh my gosh i have this on top of another lipstick but it's so creamy and this formula is amazing i cannot say enough good things about this i love this this combined with this are an amazing duo with lip liner as well um i love these these make my lips look so full and so juicy love it then i have this kkw beauty gloss in the shade copper my boyfriend bought me this and it's so pretty it's not opaque it gives a nice shimmer glimmer to the lips great formula i don't think people talk about this formula enough very pretty formula this is the color that's most packed with colorful um glitters in it but very pretty i love this then i have this is one of my favorite lip glosses this is the dominique cosmetics lemonade gloss in jeez i cannot see that it's strawberry lemonade it's so tiny i need my glasses to see that but i don't really wear things this pinky um it reminds me of the fancy um fussy gloss 
without shimmer. There's no shimmer in this whatsoever. And this, this is probably the best smelling lip product I've ever had. It smells so good, like, like a cake with frosting, a fresh baked cake with frosting. The formula is impeccable. It's not sticky. It's not goopy. It's amazing. I highly recommend these glosses. Um, I plan on buying the rest in the future, honestly, and probably to color anything else I have that is similar to whatever color she has. Cause I love this. It smells so freaking good. Um, this I got in, I think, a BoxyCharm Appeal Holographic Lip Gloss. Christine, is it hollow? Um, why did I keep this? I think it just looked really pretty on the lips. It's clear. Can you not even see? It's clear, but it has, I think, is it hollow? I don't think it's hollow. It just has a purple. Oh, maybe that's the lipstick I had on it. <laughs> Let me try it again. It's clear with very minimal shimmer, but the formula is really nice and gave a nice wet look to the lips. Not super glossy, but I I did like this when I first tried it on, so I kept it. This also got in I think a boxy charm Steve Laurent in Posh. This isn't like super special. Um is it a gloss? Yeah, it's a super opaque gloss. Um, very new tone. I think that's why I kept it because it was um, old coverage, honey. Let me smell it. Uh, is it, it smells like Play-Doh, kind of, but not intensely, so nothing to be bothered by. Um, might get rid of that eventually. Uh, this is the Anastasia Santropay. Santropay gloss. This is so pretty. I know Jagiana loves this gloss. It's one of her favorites, she said. And dang, it's so pretty. The shift to gold in this. Can you see it? Oh my gosh. It's not doing it justice. It's such a pretty gloss. It's not sticky. I don't really wear this much because it's bold for me, but I keep it because it's beautiful. This is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss in the shade. Pure Peach. I've had this for a while. I think since it first came out. These smell awesome. Not my, like not my favorite, but it does smell really good. Um, another peachy tone. It's more opaque than other glosses I have. More peachy than the Dominique Cosmetics. Um, it's a pretty gloss. When I put it on, it does turn what I have more peachy. Um, and if I wear this on its own, I would need a lip liner underneath so it doesn't look crazy. Um, but yeah, I really like this formula, really cute. Um, if I got a Dominique Cosmetics gloss that looked like that, I'd get rid of it. Uh, these I love are glosses. This is the Tarte H2O gloss in the shade Resort Life. This is a red gloss with, um, like micro shimmers in it. I'm running out of space, but... Uh -huh. super opaque if I put this on by itself though like it would sheer out and it wouldn't be as pigmented or like as full coverage um, but very pretty when I wear like if I'm on vacation I'd wear this because I don't am I inclined to wear it because it says resort light and on vacation I only wear reds or that's the only time I really wear red um, but yeah super juicy like super hydrating on the lips and it gives a nice wet look kind of thick but not unbearable and finally this is one of my favorites the buxom um what do they call it full-on lip cream in the shade white russian oh, oh this is plumping it smells so good and it's it's very light very milky very milky like a white russian i guess um, it smells so good. Um, this in the center of my lips with the nude color or I think with the deeper lip liner. Um, it's really pretty. The formula is nice. I don't think I would run out and buy any other colors because they don't really appeal to me, but 
since I have it, I use it and I really do enjoy it. May or may not repurchase in the future, but yeah, I really like that. Here are some mini lip products and my lip liners. So first, let's get into these. These are from Too Faced Holiday Collection. Um, came in a set. This is their Melted Matte Lipsticks. This is the shade Sugar Cookie. These smell like this smells like a sugar cookie. They smell like what their name is. Very light, very nude, but with a good lip liner. It works really nicely. This formula lasts long and it looks beautiful. This is Hot Buttered Rum. Blech. Not my favorite smell. Um, I'm dramatic, but not my favorite smell. Very pretty, like this is one of my perfect kind of nudes. I love it. Um, if a nude is kind of similar in tone and color, and I'm looking for that kind of tone or color for a look, then I'll just choose randomly which one I want so I use my lip products more often. This is pumpkin spice. I know I, I hate spice in the scent. I hate spice. I know people love it. I hate it. It makes me nauseous. Even though I just smelled it and I don't like it. Beautiful color, more peachy in tone, um, but very pretty. And last but not least, beautiful red. This is cinnamon bear fruit, cinnamon because it is a spice. Does not smell good, but very pretty, very pigmented red. Um, these are not patchy, they're opaque, very pigmented. Beautiful, I highly recommend. Um, I don't think they sell these anymore, but I know they sell melted mats still, and I would highly recommend those. Well, the I have two of these mini Bobbi Brown, I don't know, crushed liquid lip, and I don't know, I'll link it down below, but this was a, this a like, I got this with a mix of four points, it's very nourishing. Um, very creamy, very shiny. I love this product. It's an easy one and done for a natural look or not. I don't know. You wear whatever you want when you want. Um, I got two because I went twice. And they let me get two. And it's very pretty. They have other shades as well that I feel like I would wear a lot more often. But nevertheless, I like the color. I like the formula. Then... I have this mini Jeffree Star of the Lore Liquid Lip in Posh Spice. I got the Volt collection of the Nudes Volume 1. Um, but I wasn't wearing them and I sold the rest of them. I kept this one because it's very unique, gray tone. Um, so yeah, this formula to me, at least this older um, lipstick is very drying. Um, so yeah, not my favorite but it's very unique shade, so I keep it. Then I have this mini Bare Minerals Gen Nude. I think this is a gloss in Darling. I'm pretty sure it's a gloss. And it is. Ooh, she thick. But super pretty color. I love the color and the form of this green. So, yeah, I have that. Next, I have Itty Bitty Sephora Cream Lip Stains. This is the shade 04. Is it 04? No, this is shade 40. Another nude. Very light nude. Um, a lot more cool tone, like purpley. So yeah, this is also the same color. Um, I don't know what this color is. There's no there's no number on it. But very pretty cool tone nude. And they're small, so you know, like why not keep it? You know what I'm saying? This is the number 38. This is a nice pop of color. I don't have anything like this in my collection because why would I have a full size? Um, a very pretty color. Will I use it? I'll try to. I'll try to. Especially since I like the formula. I'll give it a shot. Um, this is shade 43. I got rid of all of my burgundy lipsticks because I'm not wearing them. I don't care about them. I'm not into the vampy look. This, you can tell on the wand it's purpley, but when I swatch it, 
it runs more brown so it's like a purple brown um again i kept it because i don't have any of this color in a full size and i don't want a full size then the last of my minis are they the last of my minis yeah um my pat mcgrath matte trance lipstick matte trance lipsticks this is the shade flesh three i got this in like the little nude bundle um i remember when jeffree star first reviewed these i was obsessed with how they looked like how matte they looked for like a bullet lipstick so pretty so i have that one and then i have the color 1995 um i was born in 98 hey comment down below if you were born in 98 um very very nude i haven't like tried these on so i don't have like a full impression of how i like the formula but i really wanted to try them so i got them and i still have not tried them this is the shade omi it's the last one um here it is they they feel creamy on my hand when i'm swatching but they look so matte these are a little bit more cool tone than i would like but with the nice lip liner i'll be good okay so here's everything that was in there i have two fancy glosses this is universal glow um i bought this when it first came out one of my favorites gives a nice nude glow with a little bit of shimmer i've used a good amount of this like i could tell i've used product and i don't think i have that in i don't think that's true for any other lip gloss i have um then i have the shade fussy the pinkier tone one i didn't want diamond milk because it's too milky for me um a medium tone as you can see um and it just doesn't it would not look right for me Maybe in the future, if I get sent it, you know, put good vibes out there. Um, but it's not something I would purchase on my own. But yeah, I love the pink one. I used, I started using it a lot more than the original, but I go back and forth. It just depends on my mood. If I want a little bit more pink tinned than a nude or like bronzy gold, then I'll go for fussy. Um, this is the L'Oreal. Plump and Shine Watermelon Plump. Um, yes, it does plump your lips and it gives a nice red tinge to the lips. It's not super opaque. It gives a nice sheen. Very pretty for like everyday look. It's cooling. I feel the like cooling on my hand. Um, I think this is very pretty. I would probably get more of these. This is affordable. So, am I looking to get any more? Then I have this Jeffree Star Lip Ammunition in the shade Allegedly. I got this, what the mother? Oh my gosh. Um, I got this in the mystery box as well. Very pretty color. Jeez. Is it melting? It should not be melting. Um, very pretty color. The swatch, it's not doing it justice because I don't know what's happening. Um, yeah this this is a nice formula it's a little bit dry which it might be it might tug a little bit on the lips um but if you warm it up it's great then i have this Too faced what is it, it doesn't say like what it is but this is their lipstick and where is my peaches at i think i got this at tj maxx beautiful packaging it smells it smells like peaches like everything else in the collection um i don't have um a red in a bullet formula this is more like orangey red but nevertheless very pretty very matte but creamy um like the pat mcgrath formula uh very nice pretty nice pretty nice then i have this color pop x make makeup shayla in the shade Ooh. Ooh, young ma vibes um this is peachier than i expected it to be and it's very light but with a lip liner like she uses she uses bff3 and 4 um with a lip liner gives a nice juicy new lip 
and I love the ColourPop formula. I have more, more to come. Then I have two Maybelline Matte Lipsticks, 550 Honey Pink and 570 Toasted Truffle. Honey Pink is very pinky for me, very pinky for me, very bubblegum like Pepto Bismol, um, but cute with a nice lip liner and Toasted Truffle, another brown. Did I need another brown? Probably not, probably not, but very creamy. This form is wonderful. I had another one. Don't know where it went. I feel like my mom keeps taking my things and doesn't say anything. Um, yeah, this is a more cool tone, mauve brown. So this is the last of it. Oh my gosh. Um, let's start with my Kylie's. I have three. Just a regular cream lipsticks. This is the shade Dulce de Leche. This is what I have on my lips today, along with the Sephora. Oh, and today I'm wearing the ColourPop lip liner. Um, this is another nice nude. This, Jesus. This is the shade Madeline. This is a nice pinky, peachy, mauve color. These are so pigmented. Like, it's one swipe, full coverage. Um, do they smell good? They don't smell particularly nice. But they don't smell bad. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it smells like, but it's not bad. And it's not overwhelming. This is the shade Troublemaker. Another Berkey. Oh, they, they feel so good. They feel so good when I swatch them. She has beautiful colors. I highly recommend these. These aren't too expensive. They're like a Sephora collection pricing. Um, but these are a beautiful formula. I highly recommend them. Then I have three more ColourPop lipsticks. This is in collaboration with Disney Villains in the shade Hades because I love Hercules. So, and it's a nice nude. So I bought this color. Very, it's so similar, but this is more pinky tone. It's more like purpley. I don't know. Don't don't question me about what I want. Um, this is also in collaboration with Disney Villains. This is Dr. Fresselier. Princess and the Frog. I don't particularly care about that movie. It's a good movie, don't get me wrong, but bought it for the color. Very pretty nude, mauve tone. <sighs> the more I swatch my lipsticks, the more I'm like, I don't need all of these because they're all the same. But the packaging is so beautiful, so I don't want to get rid of it. This is in collaboration with Disney Princess, and this is Ariel. Little Mermaids, one of my favorites. I also love Aladdin, but the Jasmine lipstick, that was too bright. Jasmine doesn't even wear bright lipstick. Ugh, so annoying. Um, but another nude, another nude. They, these two look so similar, but it's for decoration, so, you know, don't judge me. Then I have stuck in here, uh, lipstick eight. Uh, yeah i bought these at launch um <laughs> i have nothing wrong with my lipsticks i did get refunded all of my money so i got three lipsticks for free because they work perfectly fine there's nothing wrong with them um i had no reactions whatsoever nothing in them no hairs no bumps no holes um i got the shades gossip which is one this is probably my favorite favorite shade these are super creamy and the shades are so unique. I really have no problem with these whatsoever. Um, you'll see these more on my Instagram. I would not use these in a video because one, you cannot get them, at least for now. Um, and yeah, there was so much controversy behind them, but they're beautiful to display and they work for me. Also with the shade Tipsy which is a lot deeper. Again, something like what I already have. Um, but again, great formula. And then the last one is Hot Toddy. Yeah, more brownie because, because I needed a freaking another brown. It was very cool, not very cool tone, but a little bit cooler, neutral tone. So 
here are all of my lip liners. This is all I have. Um, let's start with this LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner in the shade Rare. No, Bare. Sorry. Um, I think I have to let this one go. I think I'm going to decolor this one or like give it to someone I know because that's way too light for me. Way too light for my lips. Like it's lighter than my own lips. I highly recommend if you have a lip liner get and you want it to like contour your lips um get something that's your lip color or deeper definitely recommend deeper but something lighter it it just is ashy so i'm gonna get rid of that um what else do i have i have this l'oreal oh this is nyx retractable lip liner in the shade coco um this formula isn't my favorite well actually i think since it's been sitting um in my drawer it's gotten a little bit creamier i remember it being very dry and brittle but it feels a little bit creamier now and that's a color i would definitely use clearly clearly i have a type that i like um this is the l'oreal coloration matte lip liner in the shade best best of mattes um i got this because i have colorful colorful lipsticks particularly pink but i don't like this i don't like this formula at all i feel like it's very dry and crumbly so i'm gonna get rid of this as well and before i get rid of these i'll sharpen them till they're sanitized um then i have let's go with the color pop this is the color pop uh, lippy pencil in bff2 this is what i'm wearing today this is probably one of my most used lip liners contours my lips wonderfully like you see how it's like this same kind of tone same coolness but much deeper than the other girl one i love this pencil i highly recommend it i might get number three as well for even more of the fuller lip effect this is the kylie cosmetics red velvet lip liner this is my go to red lip liner because it's the only one I have. And it came in the lip kit. Yeah, right? I got it as a lip kit, so. These are, oh my god, just dirty. These are very similar to the ColourPop lip liners. Um, yeah, they sharpen well, they work well. They stay all day. Highly recommend. This is a recent purchase the KKW lip liner in new 2.5. Five. Um, this is also one of my favorites. It's very deep, much deeper than the, the ColourPop. Same coolness. So it, it really is like a contour for my lips. Um, I love this for a good new lip situation. I, this is amazing. I might get more of these. They're great. And they're not too expensive. Like, you know, not bad, but, you know, very nice. This is the Jouer Cream longwear cream lip liner in the shade sable again i use this one a lot a nude <laughs> they're all nude this is deeper than the color pop very creamy like it suggests um yeah i use this for a little bit more cooler tone lipsticks very nice last all day last but not least this is the pat mcgrath permagel ultra lip pencil in manhattan kathleen knights was raving about this formula oh did you see just oh my god how how creamy how smooth this is very deep so i use this for more deeper nudes i might get a lighter color if i'm feeling froggy but wow this formula is amazing it's expensive but if you have the coin it's amazing. I would recommend it. Hey guys, that is it. That's the end of my makeup collection. Ending strong with all of my lip products. If there's something you love, I should try. Comment down below. And if there's anything that I have that now you're eyeballing, comment down below. Hit the like button down below. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell notification if you're feeling froggy because I do post every Saturday. 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you want to be notified when I upload, hit that bell notification. 
and yeah share this video to one friend all your friends instagram twitter facebook i'll link all my socials down below i will link my macari down below if you're interested in any of the makeup i'm selling the next video will not be about makeup but it will be about sneakers the next video is my full sneaker collection all of my greatest w's in one video maybe not all of them but yeah so the bell notification comes in handy so you get to see my sneaker collection which is amazing thank you so so much for watching i appreciate the support and the love and i hope to see you in my next video bye last time i did my base product collection did i do this one Wait, what it? It's so freaking hot, bruh. I'm hot. I'm sweaty. Is as to why I'm doing a sneaker video? It's because this makeup is not this makeup. <laughs> this video, this video.